Hi family, I hope you're good. I hope you are blessed. Today we are outside. Um, we are going to the, do our video outside, close to our father's handwork. You know, God created this beautiful world, this beautiful earth for us to embrace and walk in. And we shouldn't look at these things and be scared of the unknown because we have been given power and you know we have been given dominion over everything that is in there we have been given dominion over the fishes and the creatures of the seas so we shouldn't be scared because of what, what at times is possessed by the seas we are talking about false prophets you know false prophets have everything they take from here if they are given powers by the seas if they are given powers by these native doctors everything that they get from these doctors you will see the traits in the churches false prophet love um, physical uh, uh, contact so much you know not all pastors that you must remember the bible is also clear on laying of the hands praying for people healing the sick but false prophets uh, physical contact is not always about the healing but about impartations of their own demonic spirits unto other people false prophets like passing the whatever they have and sometimes they take what you have through physical contact so it is always important family to be so hidden in christ and in the word that whatever anybody wants to possess you with doesn't work on you because you are a child of god hidden in his word and uh, in total obedience and total uh, control of the holy spirit in your life false prophet love fleshy things because as you can see look at the, the the water the water is shiny you know the water is shiny everything about the water is see me you know look at me attraction the water the the, the water spirits that you you get from this pastor the same pastors they will bring anything that brings attention to themselves because you see anything of the power that is coming from the water is look at me you you understand water is a certain uh drawing power uh you know people the beach doesn't call pe the, the beach doesn't call people people go to the beach because water has a certain power that is able to draw people to itself so is with pastors that took their powers or exchanged their their integrities their soul with, with with the darkness with the devil in order to have powers false falsehood is not only seen in their doctrines or heard you see it is seen in how they live their lives you see they have a reason to love a lot of women they love a lot of women because in order for them to get powers from here they need to sexually exchange the 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 the, 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 the getting of that power from this place here in order to to become whatever they become you must remember the spirits that lie here the dominant one is the female because the the male acts once in a while and the male has few out there but the the active more active uh, marine spirit is the female spirit the mermaid spirit so the pastors that come here to get powers given to them by these uh, 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 sangomas they have to sexually exchange that with, 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 with these demonic powers in order to have what they have sometimes you have to sleep with the uh, uh, 
uh, sangoma, be it a, a man or a woman, you have to sleep with that person. Oh, excuse me, family, it's windy here. And as you can see, okay, Baba, God help us. Thank you. Thank you. They have to sleep, yeah, but exchange that power because if a native doctor got their powers from here, they did it sexually and it, they transfer it sexually. That is why you see a lot of false prophets, they have problems with their <laughs> controlling their sex organ. You know, they have a problem controlling their waist. They have a problem. They have to keep sleeping, sleeping, sleeping because how they got their powers, they slept for their powers. They they had to give themselves. You know, the only way to, to make someone lose their own dignity, their own respect, their own whatever they hold dear, that makes them who they are, is to take away their rights over that you see so here whether you like it or not how you exchange powers here it there it has to be in a sexual manner you see either the 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 the, the powers the dark forces sleeping and lying in these we have to leak you you know in your nakedness you have to sleep with it in your nakedness. You have to take it away to your house in your nakedness. Then do its command by doing certain sexual activities with it in order for it to keep being happy. And these pastors will go either to have, uh, um, you hear them, they call them Abafa Nabafishan, you know, short boys. <laughs> when I talk about short boys. Short boys love, love it more than anything. Two, four hours, you see. And at times you, 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 are, you can be given the physical ones or that you will see alone. And you can be given those ones that you will not see, but you know they are there. They will make you see and feel that we are here. Those ones are, are the biggest lover. Everybody, everything in the household, they will do it. They will do it. Bottom line, if the hole is behind, they will do it. The hole is flat, they will do it. So these are what our pastors are bringing to the churches and we are there in fact we are enticing giving them power to keep doing it because we keep receiving i receive amen hallelujah hallelujah we keep cheering them up you know to 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 want to become that and in the process you know there's this part that we, we, we ignore sometimes as children of God, the mamam fundises, the pastor's wife. Not all pastor's wife know or are part of, of these wicked ways of, of these men. You know how painful it is to have to bow, bow, bow down to a, an idol, a god, excuse me, a god of someone that went on their own to go collect whatever they have without you being part of it. There are women of God that were genuinely for God and they have to, to now abide by these wicked men's uh, ways and standards because they alone went to fetch these things. And you find a woman of God always in prayer deep in pain that god i am now the one that has to sleep with this thing that my husband brought but i was not part of it you know my my, my god i now have to watch my husband sleeping with multiple women all because of this powers but i did not have a right or a say in this and now scripture binds me to abide by this man you know because the bible says love covers multitude of sins so these women of god in their you know in their way of doing that they think they are protecting their marriages they think they are protecting their husbands they think they are doing it the godly way they cannot break free because these men threaten them these men um 
keep them in prison they don't really have much of a say they only know how to get out there and and preach but a lot of women of god that are married by these monsters have so much to say but they cannot break free but if you can look at them you know there's this particular man a uh, big man of god who's married you know people look at the wife but few are able to discern and and see the pain behind that woman's face you know maybe a lot of psychologists can pick up that one but there's this particular woman they're always up there you know they're always but there's pain hidden in the face of this woman because some women find themselves married to these people that they didn't know you know they came to know about them once they were in marriage you know some by the grace uh, grace of god one in the usa was able to escape that you know that oh my goodness it has been years but god being god made her escape that demon who is seen as this giant you know these pastors they are deadly and dangerous that's all <laughs> they'll do anything to protect their integrity you know they'll do anything to protect them it is never about jesus to the you know they are atheists they are they are, they are these people who don't believe in the existence of god but will use god in order to to you know to to dry people to to remain that these are antichrists behind them these are people who just love money these are people who cannot some of them they know they have earned they have done wrong they cannot come back and say father god i am sorry i have i i have sinned you know i always say let us pray for them because there's a chance for repentance you know the message is still here the saints are still here and there is a chance for repentance men of god women of god women of god you know yourself women of god it is not about the high voice it is about the message of christ that needs to be preached to people the only message that convicts people you know that transforms the lives of people we cannot keep on living lies we cannot keep on 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 pleasing the flesh we cannot keep on jesus says deny yourself luke 923 we need to deny ourselves we need to deny ourselves of this love of power we need to deny ourselves of wanting to be the best and the one the the the, the in salvation the work of god is not by power it's not by might it, it cannot be you in charge pastor if you do that you are going to get drained pastor if it's about people seeing you that you have power and seeing that you are the best by going to 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 diabolical and evil places you have signed yourself over to a kingdom that will perish a kingdom that will lead you to hell for eternity you have a chance man of god you have a chance woman of god you have a chance child of god now that the message is still being preached we preach nothing else but jesus christ him alone because it is only him that enables man to come to him so we shouldn't follow the big cars it should Pastor, it's not about because it's not about a certain design of a, a podium it's not about your expensive suits Pastor, it's about you taking the bible and continuing in the ministry continue in the ministry you were called for it is not too late to repent you can repent and say lord i have sinned jesus is love jesus he 
is forgiving. He is faithful, especially if we bring our hearts to him. That Baba God, my Father, my God, I was doing these rituals. They love traveling a lot. <laughs> they travel a lot. They are never one place. They are needed all the time. It's, it's high maintenance, Fundis. It's high maintenance, Pastor. That is a life that will you have to maintain so much. And it's draining you and you know it. You know that it's tiring. Swallow your pride and repent. While you still have a chance. Because not all your congregation is blind. They can see right through you. All the gimmicks you are doing in church, the children of God are now wide open. They can see, they can see the powers that you took has turned you into a, a man without a working manhood. It has turned you to a man whose manhood is in charge of him. It has turned you to a woman that cannot use uh, her womanhood, cannot use a womb. They can see. They are watching. They are discerning. They are reading scripture. They are hidden. God's hand is upon them. You will not blind them forever. It is your time to change. Mfundi, see, you know yourself. You know yourself, especially when who is busy running in and out of the courts and doing all this, shaming the gospel. Repent. The time is now. Accept your your heirs. Accept your sins and bring them before God. God will not say no. You 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 sexually violated fifty women. You went to six uh, 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 native doctors in order to get this. You signed your 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 yourself over to the Nile in order to have this. He will not say no. You gave yourself and dipped yourself this times in Zambezi in order to have this. God will not say that to you. God will welcome you like a prodigal son that you are. Now you are a prodigal son. You have left your father where your father had kept you. It is time for you to come back and say, Lord, I repent. Mfundisi, preach what you can practice. Preach what you practice. We are looking up to you. We see you. We see fathers. Don't take advantage of our, you know, of our innocence, of, of our respect for you and turn it against us. And because we, we may not say anything, but he will speak on our behalf. It is time to repent. Don't preach repenting to people and fail to repent. And the, the repentance that you preach is not the repentance that Jesus is preaching, that, that John came to preach, but it's the repentance to preach against talking about you. It is a repentance against people that are seeing who you, for who you are. And then now you want, my goodness, it is time to repent, Muruti. It is time to to say, God, here I am, empty as I am. It's not done in this in this time. Don't be people conscious. You must be God conscious because you will face Him. You will face Him. You see that glittering in your church building won't work. The money that you spend won't work you cannot buy truth you cannot buy uh, salvation you cannot buy the hand of god you see you cannot buy mfundisi you left because you are not one of us those of us will repent they would not care just how much people will mock them they will repent for the sake of the Lord. They will repent for the sake of truth. They will repent in order to be transformed inside out. They will repent to hold firm 
and stirred to the gospel and the message of Christ, the message that needs to be preached in order for people to change. It is not about the car that you drive. It is not about the clothes that you have. It is not about the regalia. It is not about the house that you stay in. It is not about your status in the community. It is not, it, you know, m most of you have hidden so much and taken so much liberal theology and put it in here. You want to combine uh, 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 theology with politics. You want to combine God and politics all because you want to fit in, in these power levels. Mfundisi, this is about Jesus and Jesus alone. This is about you, him, you as a servant, you know, servant, slave. It's not about you claiming kingdom citizenship in order to take advantage of people. Change. While change is still here, God loves you. Remain blessed. I love you. God loves you more. In Jesus' name.